Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, June 11, 2009. This morning I thought I'd take a look at something that you can do in the system. It's kind of neat. Not terribly useful for most people, but if you're implementing a small language that you perhaps want to interpret on top of the system, it might be a value. So let's take a look at a simple class here that's in the system. And what we're going to do is we're going to inspect it. So we're going to do a do it on this inspect command. And that'll bring up the inspector. And you notice there's something called method dict in here. So let's double click on that. And just to show you that I double clicked, you can also right click and do a dive and go down. So that'll take you down here. If I select one of these and dive down to that, you notice that I get down to this lower level and I can access bytecode. Now, this is something that if you're learning how things work might be of interest, but it turns out there's a simpler way of getting access to all this data. So let's close this and go to the system parcel manager. Once that comes up, what you do is you come down here, go to Environment Enhancements, and if you scroll down a bit, you find that there's something called RB Bytecode Tool. So let's go ahead and load that. Now what this does is it adds kind of an interesting inspection right into the system. So let's open up a new browser, and we'll go ahead here and pick some class. We'll package, class, and then down here we'll select some method. And then notice here there's this option Bytecode. So here's the Smalltalk code. Here's the equivalent bytecode for that. So you see here it's doing all of this for this source code. So you can go from here to here and see how the system is actually operating. And if I select one of these, I can inspect it, and I can actually take a look at the individual bytecode there. Again, not terribly useful in terms of something you want to do here, but if you were implementing an inspector, it might be useful to know how the system does what it does, and then you could generate your own bytecode. So that's pretty much it for today. Until next time. Have fun with small talk.